Hey guys, I am CMA Supra, and welcome to the 10th episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. Last time was 9, so yes, there should be 10. I've been quite busy since uh, the last episode. I have gone mining for more resources. I have moved all my storage chests down because I actually ran out of room on this floor. I had so much stuff that I decided, okay, I'm just moving. Whatever state my storage room is in is what it's going to be in. And I think it's actually pretty good. You guys said... Or rather, one guy said he liked it, and that was the only comment. But, yes, he liked it, I like it, majority vote says they like it. So, uh, at the beginning of the episode here, we are going to be enchanting an item, because I have 30 levels, almost 31. Uh, which chest is it in this one? So this is all the stuff we're going to be using to fight the Wither, plus potions and whatever else. We also need arrows for a bow, not just a bow. We're not going to whack him with a bow. Uh... Yeah, so basically we're gonna be, we are going to be enchanting these one by one as I get 30 levels. And we shall start with the diamond helmet. So let's go see what enchantment we get. Uh, before we do that, actually, see I have added two furnaces to here. Actually, four furnaces. I don't, I don't think I had any furnaces last time I showed this to you. So then there are four furnaces here. Furnaces. <laughs> furnaces. And it's getting dark, but I don't care. Also, my animals seem to be escaping from my pen. I made it bigger, and now they're escaping, so I don't know what's up with that. But... Oh well. I will have to figure that out at some point. But let's do some enchanting. Level 30. What do you think I got? Hopefully it's something good that's worth using on the wither. Um, who knows what it's going to be? That's not going to help me at all. <laughs> Projectile protection 4 and aqua affinity 1. Okay, I don't plan to fight him underwater, so the aqua affinity is useless. And I don't intend for him to be shooting arrows at me. I mean, I don't think his blast thingies that he shoots out count as projectiles in this game. So... Yeah, that helmet's not going to be useful at all in fighting the Wither, but oh well, it's what we're going to use unless everything turns out to be terrible and chance and all my armor, in which case I'm just going to make some new armor and enchant those. So there we go, an enchanted helmet. Next will be the chest plate. Next time I get 30 levels. So, uh, I'm going to sl- Ugh. Okay, what I was saying is... I'm going to sleep now, and then we're going to go outside and take a look at what I plan to do this episode. So some of you may know I have a little, really tiny wheat farm back behind the house over there. But we're going to be replacing it with an automatic wheat farm, which would be built inside of this. And to actually show you what it looks like, let's go into the test world. And this is the inside of it. Let's go outside. <laughs> Here we go. Lots and lots of wheat. So it's an automatic wheat farm. Basically you walk in the door, not while flying, in survival mode, and then you hit the button and then all the wheat shows up down here along with the seeds. And the way it works is water comes pouring um, through along the wheat because these pistons go down when you push the button. And yeah. Let's actually show you how this works, just because we probably won't finish this in this episode, but I do want you guys to see what it is exactly that I'm making. So let me show you, and it starts lagging once I press the button. So as you can see, all the wheat gets pushed in all three levels, and I can add as many levels as I want, but I think three is a good number. Um, yeah. Then I'd have to come up through this door, and up the ladder, replant, go up to the next level, and do some more replanting, and that's that. And there are some items that don't make it down the water streams, but that's okay because most of them do, and it's still like two and a half, not two and a half, two and a quarter stack of wheat every time I push the button. Is that everything? Yeah. So how much did I get? That's not going to tell me. This will tell me. 
one, two, and a quarter stack of wheat, exactly. So yeah, that's about how much it makes, and I think that's pretty good for an automatic wheat farm. And the nice thing about this is that it is uh, stackable, basically. Not vertically, but horizontally. So if I wanted to add another farm over here, say for netherwort, all I would have to do is break down this wall right here. And then I would have... Wow, my voice. <clears throat> and then I would have a button over there on another wall, and that button would farm the nether wart. And I can add as many farms as I want. I did not need to open that door. Oh well, so yeah, that's what we're going to be building today in the Let's Play world. So I've gone ahead and built the... Well, that's a the cow's already over here. Wow. So I've already gone ahead and built the outer structure, but I need to do the redstone in here as well as, um, well, pretty much everything else. Uh, you would even have to finish building the front side, the side that you're mostly going to see, because I haven't finished that either yet. So I've only built the outline, and then there's a door that serves absolutely no purpose <laughs> yet. And I was actually thinking of taking that door right there and changing it out with soul sand. So I don't know how many of you have seen my soul sand tricks videos. I'm sure a lot of you have. That's one of my most watched videos on my channel. But uh, basically, if this is only too high and there's soul sand right there, you can't walk through it. But if I have a piston up above that pulls that block up, then I can walk through it. So I might have like a button right here where... It the piston will pull the block up temporarily, letting, letting me walk through. And then it would come back down so nothing else can get through, like creepers or zombies or anything like that. I'm thinking about doing that. So, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. I'm not really sure where to start, though. Even building this outline, I had to keep going back and forth between my test world and my Let's Play world, because... I built this perfectly in creative, and it took two hours, so I can only imagine how long it's going to take to make it in, uh, in a survival. So, basically I have a cobblestone ring, and it goes out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten goes across. So let's go ahead and make that. And I'm not going to show this whole thing on camera because it will get boring, I do know that. So probably what I will show is just the beginning parts, and then I will cut parts out and show those. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet, but something like that. So don't need a block there, I don't think. I don't know, maybe I do. Oops. <laughs> Let's see. I'm probably going to be doing this a lot. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it comes around on the tenth. And we can do this. There we go. And now what I need is water. A water place. Let's let me dig it out from the other side because I think that will be easier. So I want it to come out right here. I did not bring ladders with me. I probably should have. So that'll come out like that. There we go. And now I should be able to see it from here. Correct? Yes, I can see it. Okay. Oops. Shovel. Then we need to open this up. And this one as well. Because that's going to be where the water is. And I need a sign. I don't have a sign. So let's go make one. There we go. 
and water. Okay, so there's one water stream. I need some more water. Would there happen to be water in this ice? No. Okay, there's some more water. Actually, let me take that and make an infinite pool. I think that would be the smart thing to do. So let's use dirt. And I don't want it on the snow. I want the snow to be perfect. So let's make it over here. And water. Now I need the other piece of water, or the other source block of water, rather. I can make an infinite pool and not have to run so far. And yes, as I said, I will be cutting some of this out. Because I know it will get boring if I don't. But I will build some of it on camera simply because you guys need to see what it is like to build with me. <laughs> It's like I'm doing an obstacle course every time I go for water. Walk on the tightrope, jump on the workbench, and jump in the water. And then do it backwards. Aw, I failed. <laughs> oh no, it turned into ice. That's not good. Block over it. There we go, now it won't turn into ice. And I will have to remove that block later, but for now it works, so all the items will fall down into these streams and then they will flow into this one and show up at the other side. And just to make sure it actually works, let's put a piece of cobblestone in there and it should show up over here. It, it did, yeah it did. However, I need ladders because I don't want the water... Oh, dang it, that's no longer snow, dang it, now it's imperfect. Uh, actually, I have ladders in my house. Let's go get those. So that sucks. Now it's not going to be as perfect. Is this? Yeah, this is wooden products. Let's put the signs up, get ladders. Uh, I don't need snow. That's not it. Is this? Yeah, this is it. And what else? I don't need those anymore. Let's put those with the cobble, because they are cobble products. And... Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Oh yes, I made it. <laughs> Oops, I meant to go on this side. Place ladders. There we go. So now all the items will show up down there, and it'll all be dandy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut here, and I will be back once I have, I don't know, something to show. So yeah, I'll be back. Alright, so I have hooked up enough redstone to where these torches, which will be powering the pistons vertically, um, now stay on just the right amount of time for the water to flow, and yeah, let me show that to you. That's actually most of the work done, most of the redstone work anyway. So as you can see, the torches are now turned off. They were on before, and we wait for the water to flow. Man, what's up with my voice today? And then the torches turn on. So yeah, that's all working now. The way it works is... The redstone goes over here on this side and activates this uh, repeater right here, which turns off this redstone torch, which means this uh, wire will turn off, which means this redstone torch will turn on, and that powers this redstone, which goes around here and turns off the, the torches, that's what they're called. <laughs> and then the other side of the button goes over here with a really, really long delay, including underground, a whole bunch of repeaters, and then it comes back up over here and activates this torch, which, or rather activates this repeater, which, it turns on the repeater, which turns off this torch again, 
So it returns back to the state it's currently in. So this torch turns off, this redstone turns off, and all these turn off and the torch is turned back on. And what this is actually called is a memory cell right here. And I actually have a tutorial on it. I won't be linking it because it's kind of old and I'm, I don't feel like trying to find it. Uh, you can just search CMA Supra memory cell tutorial and you'll find it. But I'm too lazy to link it. Uh, so yeah, that's all this is, a memory cell. And it hurt. with a memory cell you can activate it two different ways, or two, from two different sides rather. It's from this side and from this side. And that's how it works, kind of. Go check out my tutorial if you want to know more. Uh, so you can also check out my tutorial on a custom door delay. I don't know. Maybe I'll link these both in the description. Yeah, I'll just link them. It's a whole lot easier than trying to explain. So yeah, expect the links in both. Expect both links in the descriptions if you want to learn more about the memory cell circle and adding a delay on redstone, which is what I've done here to make these torches stay turned off longer. So the next step is to add pistons. And this will be kind of interesting, because I can't jump high enough to actually place them. I guess I gotta do it like this. Perfect. Nope. There we go. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, which, this torch. Perfect. It's a whole lot easier to build in creative. Oh yeah, this doesn't have a piston on it. And the reason that doesn't have a piston is because that's the middle spot where there's going to be water going across here so that the crops can be watered. I did not mean to place cobblestone. There we go. No! Second piston that's messed up. Third time! Nope, fourth time! There we go. Fifth time! <laughs> wow, messed up the pistons five times and there's only eight pistons to place. Is that sad? Six times! There. Yes. How do I place this one? Is this going to work? This is going to place it horizontally, isn't it? No, it worked. Awesome. So there we go. Those pistons are now good, and if I push the button just for demonstration purposes, the pistons all go down, water flows, and then once the redstone torches turn back on, the pistons will go back up and stop the water flow. There we go. So, yeah, now that that's working, um, what do I want to do next? There's a little bit more redstone to go, not on this level, but on the next level up. But I can't really do that right now, so let's go ahead and... I think we should go ahead and add the dirt that's going to be holding the crops. I think that would be the next thing to do. So let me get enough dirt. And how far can I reach? Oh, perfect. Although I do actually kind of... Hmm. No, that's actually perfect. That works. There we go. And then I need, I need cobble down here. Oops. Fell down. There it is. Nope. There we go. Now, how far do I want it to go? I want it to go to where the edge of it is at the water, so one more. Perfect. That's how far it should be, and just to make sure that it's absolutely correct, water is going to be here. One flow, two flow, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. Because water flows seven blocks away from its source. If you include the source, it's eight blocks. I don't include the source, so it's seven blocks in my head. 
but you will hear me say eight every once in a while if I'm just talking about it because that's usually how I think about it when I'm not thinking. <laughs> if that made any sense. Oops. Get me out of here. There we go. I was about to say, is this one of those streams I can't get out of? But no, I can get out, so that's good. There we go, that'll hold the water. Um, yeah, that looks good. So now I can go up top on, or rather on top, of these things. This is not going to reach, is it? Woo, not even close. <laughs> uh... Okay. There we go. So I'm going to need to fill this with water. Let's place the block there. And... What else? Yeah, I'll, I'll fill this with water, and then I'll be right back. Okay, this is filled with water and ice is already forming. I already broke one block on it, so let's go ahead and cover it so no more ice forms. And there we go. We now have water that's going to drench. Not drench, what's the word? I don't know what it's called, but it'll do something to the soil to make it able to grow crops faster. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and add some railing on, or for the items rather because when the items go off the water, or, yeah, kind of off off the soil, rather, when they flow off the side, they'll want to go all over the place, some this way, some this way, and if we need to stop that, and the best way to stop it is to put a railing like this. So, hmm. I don't know if I need one back in that corner or not. One being a block. Let me check my notes. <laughs> Basically what these are. Um, where would it be? Over here. Okay, it looks like I actually have a full circle here, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I need to do. And it is turning night. Oh, I'm falling off. There we go. So there we have a full circle. It's not looking nearly, or not even close to the same as the other one was, because it's not high enough. Now it looks better. Now it looks like a container, or more of a container. And then it still needs to go even higher, because... I need to keep the water from flowing off the sides once the once the water starts flowing. Because if I didn't do that, it would just run into all that redstone and this thing would not work anymore. It would be very bad. So now, what, where all do I have cobble? Okay, it's just on that layer. I don't have one next to the soil. All right. So I can do that. Um, okay, so up here. And yeah, I need one up there. Now we're almost ready to the point where I can actually start putting water in that will flow across the soil. Oh, I fell off. Once we can put that water in, we'll have a whole layer done, pretty much. It won't look nice because of all the openness of it, but it, it'll be done in terms of functionality. And then we need a way to hold the water in underneath, because the water's going to be going next to the top of those pistons, so in this block right there. So this is going to be right under the water holding it in. There we go. Awesome. So I could place water in here. Let's put a block there. So I could place water in here. It would flow and everything would be working for this level. That's one layer done. That's a lot. 
except this doesn't look right because of this right here. Yeah, there's supposed to be ladders right here. I put my only ladder away, so I don't have any ladders to put there, but that's what it'll be like. So now that this layer is done, uh, the next thing to do is work on the layers that are going to go on top of it. And that's going to be semi-challenging. Um, how did this work? I can't remember. Let's go check. <laughs> uh, where am I? Over here. Oh, that's not a redstone dust piece. That's a full block. And then there's a torch going out the side, out the side, out the side, and then on top. Okay. That shouldn't be bad. I'm so glad I designed this off camera, as I'm sure you guys are too. Otherwise, this could be even more boring than it already is. Because if you think about it, I spent two hours designing that. You can see how little of that time was actually spent building it. I mean, heck, I'm already done with one layer, and it hasn't been that long. So, yeah, a lot of sp that time was spent just designing it. So, let's see. Redstone torch, and then a block, then another torch, and then a block, and then another torch, and then a block on top, I believe it was. Oh, that's not right. Where'd it go? There it is. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that looks right. It should be off. And now that this is off, I need... Wait a second, this seems a little low. I feel like the torch should be one up, one higher. Um, how about we just do this? How about we fill this up and call the layer done? And then we can go check our notes again. This won't take long to fill up either because I have source blocks in the in the machine now. So one block there. Where is my other source? Oh, I covered them up. Okay. So I can't exactly use them, but they are there. That doesn't really help, does it? Okay. This really won't take long. This is the last trip over here, and then I won't have to come over here for water anymore. Right there. Awesome. Source blocks. Yes, there we go. Oh no, it's freezing. Dang it. Uh, torch. Let's just put torches here, because I'm not going to cover this up. So there we go. That is done. Let's just check the layer just to be sure it's still actually working. I can't press the button from this height, obviously. Uh, I can't see. I need to check it. Yes, the water is flowing. It's flowing for long enough, and then the pistons stop. And that is not supposed to become ice. There we go. These torches should stop it from becoming ice, but they are not. It should only form ice under light level 15, so that's very odd. But let's go check our notes. This layer is completely done. That is awesome. But let's see. One angle torch, two angle torch, three angle torch, off torch. Ah, uh, and then it goes one up and it's on because, yeah, that makes sense. It's on because I, on this level, the bottom level, I have these torches powering the pistons. But on the next two levels, I don't. I don't have any torches. I just have repeaters going into the blocks and then the pistons are right above them. And I would break this block to show you, but there's water, apparently. Yeah, there's water there. But yeah, you have to trust me on it. There's no... There are no redstone torches powering the pistons. Now it's just the blocks. Okay, that makes sense. 
So I need to go one higher than this. Lock there. With the redstone torch on top. And then I can come out and... Yeah. Redstone would redstone dust would be going on there. I am actually out of cobble on my inventory. I have a ton left in my house. So I need to go grab cobble. I will begin working on the second layer, and I will be back once I have something to show you guys. It actually turns out I've been recording for a while. My total recording time is 31 minutes and 15 seconds, plus whatever I record in this one. And this one being this little clip at the ending of the video here. And yeah, so I'm going to end the episode, but before we do that, just as a test to make sure this is absolutely working, there's a piece of cobblestone. Pretend it's a piece of wheat. I'm going to push the button and we're going to see if the cobblestone makes it all the way into that hole down there. So push the button and let's watch it if possible. Yeah, there it is. We can kind of see it. Hopefully you can see it on video. Piston is shut off. Can we see the cobblestone down here? I don't see it. Maybe it already went through. That's probably what happened. Is it down here? Yes, there it is. So this fully works. That is awesome. So, yeah. Well, layer one works anyway. I'm still building layer two, and I might finish this off camera. I don't know. I might. Simply because it's a lot of repetitive work after you build a single layer. Ooh, torch. Yes, I want torch. I knocked down the torches here and I couldn't get one of them back. Yay, I got it back. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I might finish this off camera. I might not. I don't know. But yeah, until next time, guys, I will see you all later. Bye. I think. Is that the end of the video? Is there anything else I wanted to say? Um, yeah, that was all. Bye. I might finish this. I might not. I don't know yet. I need to stop rambling. Bye.